so we have started with the evaporation that is one of the catchment losses so we know now that our catchment area or for our catchment area the input is precipitation and the output is runoff okay so between this precipitation and runoff there are certain losses which are called as catchment losses so we are studying that now so starting with the first catchment loss that is evaporation so we have seen what are the various factors which affects the rate of evaporation now in this lecture we are going to see the methods to measure the evaporation so give the heading methods to measure evaporation evaporation okay so to measure the precipitation if you remember the instrument which we use is called as rain gauge okay so the rain gauges were used for the measurement of precipitation so what was happening in this when the rainfall was falling so it was getting collected in a container and the depth was measured okay so this this depth will give us the amount of rainfall that is precipitation value either in centimeter or in mm in case of evaporation what we are doing is we are taking a pan okay so we are taking a pan and in this pan in this pan the amount of water or we can say there will be certain amount of water will be kept in this so for our understanding here i am just drawing so there is certain depth of water which is present here so after regular intervals what we will check is we will check what is the change in the what is the change in the depth of the water because see what will happen due to the solar energy or due to the heat the water will keep on evaporating from this pan so due to evaporation the level of water will decrease here so this decrease in level of water that we will note and with the help of that we will get the evaporation okay so evaporation is measured in such pans the precipitation was measured in by using the rain gauges so write down evaporimeters are water containing pans water containing pans which are exposed to which are exposed to atmosphere exposed to atmosphere okay the loss of water due to evaporation loss of water due to evaporation is measured is measured at regular intervals okay so this evaporimeters these are used to measure the to measure the evaporation okay so these are nothing but the pans only so these pans are contain, containing some water we note the level of water initial level of water then after certain time what will happen there will be evaporation due to evaporation this liquid will get converted into gases and hence the level of liquid will decrease here so this decrease we will measure now so following are the following are the various methods methods to measure to measure evaporation to measure the evaporation so which are the following methods so the first method is by using evaporimeter okay so this is the first method that we have seen this is also called as pan measurement 
pan measurement then the second one is called as or it is it is coming under the category of empirical formula empirical formulas then the third one is analytical formulas analytical formula see so this evaporimeter or pan measurement of evaporation this we have seen now what is this empirical and what is the meaning of analytical see empirical means these are the formulas which have no proof okay that means they are derived from the actual data on the field so we have con we have done some experiments and then we have calculated the value or we can say we have derived an equation from that there is no mathematical derivation for the empirical formula whereas for the analytical formula there is the derivation so this is the difference between empirical formula and analytical formulas so now we are going to discuss the method or we can say by pan measurement measurement of evaporation so the first one give heading pan evaporation pan evaporation so in this case the evaporation is measured as pan evaporation e e it is equal to p plus or minus z okay p plus or minus z where where e is pan evaporation pan evaporation then p is called as a rainfall during period of observation a rainfall during period of observation period of observation and z is depth of water added depth of water added or removed okay if the depth of water is added then we will add this plus z if it is removed then we will subtract it okay so here the p value will be zero p value will be equal to zero if no rainfall is occurring during the measurement when we are taking the observation okay then only the value of p will be zero or else the pan evaporation will be equal to p plus or minus z so this is the formula okay now see this is giving us the measurement of pan evaporation that is the measurement of evaporation in a pan but if you want to calculate the evaporation in a particular lake so let's say this is the lake area the lake is a rectangular in shape okay so this is a lake a rectangular lake okay and instead of this lake now we have taken the readings of a pan that is we have calculated the pan evaporation pan evaporation so the pan evaporation value is small e or we can say capital e this is the evaporation in the pan but not the evaporation in the lake so to find out the evaporation in the lake that is the actual evaporation we have to use certain other formulas so what are those other formulas so first we have to first we have to write down the formula that is actual evaporation actual evaporation it is equal to pan evaporation pan evaporation multiplied by cp value okay so this is the value this is the formula for actual evaporation what is this cp cp is called as pan coefficient cp is called as pan coefficient so if you write it it will be e into cp this will give us the actual evaporation now if you want to find out what is the volume of water that has even evaporated okay volume of water that has been evaporated so the volume formula is volume of water volume of water evaporated so this is equal to actual evaporation actual evaporation which we have calculated in the first one multiplied by actual area of surface water body 
okay so area multiplied by actual evaporation will give us the value of volume okay so these are the two important formulas from the evaporation or we can say pan evaporation this pan evaporation this e value this can be either in centimeter or it can be in mm okay so you have to see what is given in the problem and then convert the values accordingly so write down a note here so type of pan type of pan and cp value sometimes in the question especially in the gate examination examinations like gate this cp value is not given so you have to learn this value so there are four types of pans which are used for the pan evaporation so write down the first is us wb class a pan us wb class a pan second is is class a pan the third is colorado sunken pan colorado sunken pan and the last is us gs floating pan us gs floating pan okay so if you want some extra information here i am just writing it here so it is given by this wb means weather bureau okay so this wb stands for weather bureau then this is it is generally indian standard so it is used in india so it is used in india then this colorado sunken pan it is sunk below the ground okay hence it is called as sunken pan so what is the meaning of this it is sunk inside ground and this usgs means geological survey okay so this gs stands for united states geological survey geological survey okay so this is not required actually in the question in most of the time it will be given to you but this is just for your extra information so what is the value of this first one class a pan uswb so it is 0.7 then is class a pan the value is 0.8 then colorado sunken pan the value is 0.78 and usgs floating pan the value of cp is 0.8 okay so these are the values of cp for the various types of pan which are generally used for measuring the pan evaporation so this is it about pan evaporation now in the next class we will be starting with the empirical formulas